Hey there. Hope everybody's doing good today. Um, kind of got herself into a project. Uh, just getting started. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go. But I bought a set of glow plugs, glow plug relay, and controller for this international. Uh, it's got the 6.9 diesel. I've never changed them. Uh, I mean, it's pretty simple as far as the process to do it. But are they going to come out easy and go back in easy? And is all my wiring and all that good? I don't know. We're going to we're going to get into it and see what happens. What I've got done so far, I took an air hose before I took my breather off, blowed down in uh, the little valleys where the glow plugs are. Tried to blow all the stuff out. I'll make sure they're all good and clean good before I take any of them out. I put a rag over them. After I took my breather off, I put a rag over my intake air with uh, some weight on it so it can't blow off and uh, let stuff down in my intake. So, we will get started on that. Uh, I guess getting them out is going to be the hard thing. I bought my parts from uh, Accurate diesel.com oops sorry accurate diesel.com so i got them so we'll see how that does right here's their business card hopefully y'all can see that if you're interested in any parts from uh accurate diesel uh there's the glow plugs they're made in the usa uh here's the um relay and the controller and i also bought some anti drain back um valves trouble i don't know which way they're supposed to go and we'll have to investigate that a little bit as far as which direction in the line they're supposed to go to keep it from drain the let it flow through but not let it come back so we'll check that out and see i think like that maybe um but we'll see Anyways, I'm going to try them. My, my fuel filter, When anytime I change it or take it off, I've noticed the, the fuel's down in it low, and I put that bigger fuel filter on it, and I can't hardly get the truck started. It's, it's losing its prime. It's so, the, the, uh, what's that word? Siphoning the fuel back out of it, back into the tank once you cut the engine off. So I'm going to put that in there and see if that helps. I think it will, uh, coming from the tank side. Um, that way it can't suck it back out of that that filter. I think that'll help keep the fuel primed up better. But we'll get started here. You might have to have your quarter inch drive ratchet and uh, I think I'm using a 10 millimeter socket but it's actually a 3 8 is what you need. I just didn't have one. And of course you wiring you got to unhook first and it's got this little clip on it you have to squeeze to release this one was fairly snug but uh it seems to be coming out pretty easy so let's be hopeful the rest of them does but you can't get a a 3h drive extension it's too fat it won't fit down in there unless you socket line up without moving them injector lines but this one here uh quarter inch drive is working and if anybody had a little swivel socket um would help a whole lot but i'll get that on out of there right here is one of the old ones it doesn't look too uh swift so i'm hopeful that this will work this will help hope I can get them all in and out without problems as well well I'd like to have me a little swivel right there a little quarter inch
thinking about getting me a new set of uh, injectors. and return lines for this thing as well. All right, that one's in. and plugged up now this one over here looks even more exciting i'd say Well, I was going to say, if anybody's smart, they'd take these injector lines out, but no. Been there, done that. You about have to take these off, them off, and pull your pump out. It's hard to get them down in there. All right, I'm going to have to get something to clean some of that uh, debris out of that one a little more before I Took me a pair of needle nose and stuck down in there and got that... Um, plug unhooked just gotta be sure and release that latch oh this one's not too bad as far as getting the the ratchet on it if y'all hear something running might be that bmw it's outside letting the battery charge and my furnace fan's running too Hayden had his wisdom teeth cut out today. Tiffany's on the way home with him, so. I guess I'll quit here in a minute. When he gets home, go up and see him, see how it's going. Can't tell if it's threaded out all the way or not. Yep, bad shape. Let me grab a new one. Now. Yep. I don't know. Get it fished back in there. I don't think I even sprayed that and did I? Let me go ahead and put a little PB blaster on these others while I am. Um, hey, whoa. While I'm putting this one back in. Put a decent little torque on there, but I don't want to overdo it either. Make sure you get your clip on the right way so they'll stay. This one, when it tightened up, it's twisted. The, the spade part is compared to the other one, and the wires kind of memoried into that one particular position okay you gotta be careful not to break them little blades off I went and grabbed me another extension to put on there i get a pair of 
clear everything better. You can order the glow plugs with just the controller, or you can order the glow plugs, controller, and relay. It gives you that option when, you, when you're selecting it before you check out, so you don't really have to go in there separately and log everything in or put everything in a cart when you go to buy the the glow plugs it's already there for you as usual when i go to try to fix something something else tears up in the process as i wear on that side working and got against that uh, small coolant line coming out of the reservoir and broke it. I don't know if y'all can see it dripping. So it's going to have to be replaced, which probably needed to be done anyways. And this right here was the hardest one to get to by far. Now I'm working on getting the controller out. A socket would be ideal, but it's got a flange on top. Can't get a socket into it, and that thing was tight too. Tight, tight, tight. Good old quarter of a turn at a time. Oh, I didn't know that. I had no clue. No clue that that was coolant. I thought it just threaded in the block. I have got a mess and a half now. Why didn't y'all tell me that? I had no idea. That that threaded into the block. I thought it just was held there, but I guess that's your temperature <sighs> sensor. Shoo, I flooded the place out. Guess it pays to kind of research this stuff a little bit, don't it? And that makes sense. Because that, that, uh, that has to read temperature. And, uh, yeah. A little bit of a shocker, though. A little bit of a shock. That's typical of things you encounter when you don't know what you're doing. Well, let's get our mess cleaned up. Shoo. Okay, I got that uh, check valve right here uh, put in line. I hopefully got it turned the right direction. And that is the line going to the tank. Uh, controller hooked up. I didn't change the relay because I, I tried it out there and they and they're, sound like they're cycling. The glow plugs are. So it might be a little slow to start this time because of the this fuel has drained out. Um, I'm curious to see how it does in the morning. I'm curious to see how it does right now. But I'm going to try it and see and it said on that glow plug controller not to turn 
anything on until it's had about 10 minutes to adapt i guess for the temperature of the coolant which remember there's coolant when you take it out might want to drain your coolant down before you do it instead of being like me which i didn't know any better uh they don't come with instructions which would be nice instructions would but uh i'm going to put my breather on and we'll try it and see what it does also i took it loose and cut part of that hose off and put it back on there i'm not going to add any cool to it right now because i want to go ahead and change that hose well, i have got to get right. some of them. let's see what happens slow starting right there because it had to prime that filter back up uh, so I'll have to try it again maybe tomorrow and see if it does any better well shutting down for the night uh, right after I'd cranked the truck or I was getting ready to get in it and back it out and clean the shop a little bit and it died I'd put that uh, flowback anti-flowback valve backwards so i had bought two of them because i didn't know which size i needed so i took this and apart which i should have done to start with she took one of them apart and looked at it and the the wide side um is the side that the flow comes in from so i had to take that back out and switch it around take my fuel filters off fill them back up with fuel and uh get it cranked back and stuff but uh I went ahead and moved it out, swept the floor up and stuff, cleaned the oil dry up where I had uh, put it down to soak up the antifreeze and everything. So uh, we'll come back tomorrow and see if it'll crank uh, without starting fluid. I, ain't got, I, I don't know. don't believe it will, but I hope it does hope it does it won't be that warm down here or nothing to make it warm enough to make a difference in, in the shop compared to outside uh, the fire will go out and everything later but anyways i'll uh, catch up with you all in a little while well tomorrow morning okay let's cover what i've done um let's see when did I start working on this truck? Friday? Today's Sunday. I don't know. Yeah, I think I started working on it on uh, Friday. Changing the glow plugs and stuff, which y'all saw. Uh, I got the controller changed. I hadn't changed the relay, which I have now. I had broke one of these radiator hoses cracked it so i went ahead and got a uh, new one and replaced this one and this one uh with new hoses the big hoses had been changed uh, a couple years ago and i was going to show you on this relay what had happened uh I, I tried starting a truck the other night and i could hear the relay clicking so i assumed it was working the old one so i didn't change it and my truck didn't start any better than it had before and that was kind of at the end of the day so i didn't check it out or nothing um 
yesterday I changed those hoses and changed the rear end the gear oil and the differential and a few things and didn't get back into checking the the glow plugs out till today I came down here after church and decided to do some diagnostics on it and I'll show you what I found um, let me climb up here okay right here's your relay and the one that came on this truck was a three pole relay the new one is a four pole so what i did when i was testing it with the test light the old one i've got power here that's that has power all the time then once that you turn your key on and your controller sends signal that it needs um the glow plugs once this solenoid engages it sends power to this lug which powers your glow plugs well even though the solenoid was clicking, I wasn't getting no power to this side. Why? I don't know. So I went ahead and changed this solenoid. The only thing I had to do different where it was a four pole instead of a, uh, a three. I had these ground cables, um, grounding wires. They was attached up here to this screw. I just switched them down to this one and then ran me a, screw, a, a wire, made me up a little wire to go from there back up here as a ground to ground the solenoid so turn my key on i could hear it clicking and then i took my test light and tested right at one of the glow plugs it was lighting up so i knew i had power going to my glow plugs at that point didn't have my camera down here so i wished i'd have had it but y'all get the gist of what's going on um so i had power i knew to the glow plugs at that point so i had done this several times turned the key on and off checking different things and and stuff to make sure i had power going where i needed it which kind of run my battery down because it was energizing my glow plugs at that point so then when i went to start it um i still wasn't real positive that it would have helped anything uh because this truck has never started good since i've had it which the glow plugs have probably never been working since i've had it so what i did uh then was i said well i'm gonna try it so i went ahead and tried it and it barely did start turning over and then it cranked right off um it's probably about 45 i'd say about 50 degrees here in the shop at that time i hadn't had a fire going long or nothing and normally it never would have done that i about always if it's set overnight or any length of time I had to just give it a little shot of ether to get it to fire the first time now once the engine was cranked and and it had the heat in it it always started back good it was just that initial cold start no, no matter what the temperature was outside um but it cranked that's the first time it's done that since i've had it um i'm going to try to get you a cold start it's warm now uh, i'll try to get you a cold start tomorrow on it and hopefully i'll have the same results and i'd like to thank that uh, accurate diesel if y'all will give them some business check them out um i don't have any ties to them it's the first time i've used them but uh seem to have good products i like their ordering and right here's the thing i like the most about it on the back they sent me this card uh paper clipped onto it it says i will lift I will lift up my eyes to the hills from which comes uh, my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Psalms 121 verses 1 through 2. And they say if you have questions or want to talk to someone about what it means to follow Jesus Christ, visit seeklife.net. And that means a lot to me. Anybody that will, will support Christianity and salvation and seeing that with their with their products as a business person uh that's something i admire this day and time and i will be dealing with them again in the future um, if i need anything but another thing i want to give a shout out to uh to kyle lloyd um he has one of these internationals i'll throw you a picture up here where you can see his truck but he sent me a, a video of his cranking one day after he'd had some new glow plugs and controller and stuff put in it. And I was impressed by how well it cranked. I just thought these things didn't start good at all because this I never had. 
and uh, that's what made me decide to go ahead and do that to my truck but he's got a sharp looking truck i like that blue color and everything but uh uh if y'all will um please like subscribe and comment and then i'll um throw a clip in here of this thing starting hopefully at the end but um we'll catch you later right here i'm explaining about uh my tachometer sensor my tack never had worked on this truck and i finally rounded one up at dj truck parts over in coburn it's just kind of a universal tack sensor that reads off the uh the flywheel and goes in the bell housing there and um i got it changed out and i think i show maybe the tack working here a little bit later so I'll show y'all a little bit of what I'm uh, into right now. Got the gauges pulled out of my international, uh, changing the bulbs out. Uh, back in behind here, which you can take them out from the back side. But anyways, there's uh, the back lit part of the dash. Changed all those bulbs, trying to get them working. Um, so I'm gonna show you on the back side how this thing looks. But anyways, you have this this grid that's got the little copper strips in it and you got your plug in that plugs right here that sends signal to everything inside the uh unit most most of your gauges and your lights and all that and these little knobs here's lights you can just twist them out and change your bulbs out there's your tack here's your speedometer and i gotta get the i've got all the gauges the pieces cleaned up good i'm getting ready to put them back together right here you can see my got all my back lights on my dash working heater controls there's one up in there for my headlight controls of course my cb down here my radio does not work and or the light doesn't on it and then i got a a cab dome light that has never worked and took it out and got it all wired up and got it on a like a dimmer switch they're bright low so yeah happy with that happy with all that i got this cdr valve replaced crankcase deregulated d Ah, shoot. Crankcase D compression regulator. I'd never changed this thing. I didn't know it was important to do that. I didn't even know what it was until the other day I got to researching it. But um, that kind of regulates your uh, crankcase pressures goes right there on this truck on the pickups it's located uh in behind the intake but when that goes bad i've read where it can potentially cause you to burn oil and things um i don't know if it makes a difference on that or not but it, it's important to change them from what i've found out and stuff so if you've got one of these engines and haven't i'd recommend uh i'd recommend changing it for sure uh simple to do just took a few minutes a little bit expensive for that thing though but i figured it'd be better to do it change it and hopefully potentially eliminate any problems in the future and i ordered some coolant treatment for it of course these have the water filters on them that's got uh, treatment in it as well but i'm gonna add some additional uh coolant treatment in it and uh there's a guy telling me the other day uh, that that was real important so uh, which I, I i knew but i kind of thought the filter took care of it but then after i got to researching that um you're supposed to keep that coolant additive um level checked so i think you can get test strips for it 
and things, but I'm going to go ahead and get some put in it. Uh, I have always kept that coolant filter changed, so hopefully that's been treating it some, but um, kind of keeps down corrosion and, and stuff in your uh, coolant system. But I guess that's going to wrap us up for a while on this old truck. I'm about to get it about to get it finished up the only other thing i thought about doing was the um the thermostat but i don't know if i'm gonna do that right now or not because i'd have to drain the coolant back out and all that stuff but i'm tickled with what i've got done i hope it makes the old truck last longer and make it a little more dependable and and all that and don't have any major issues anytime soon hopefully it'll last me a few more years till i can afford to get me something a little more modern but um as long as this keeps running, I might not get nothing more modern. I'd like to keep this old truck. But it's awful handy to use like I've been using it. But anyways, I'm starting to ramble, so uh, I'll let y'all go. Please like and subscribe. Hopefully this is the final clip for a while I'm working on this truck. Um, I changed the thermostat. had to drain all the cooling out and everything. Uh, so now I'm going to crank it up. And let it run, see if we got any leaks. Hopefully we don't. And see what happens. And this truck's not been started. Um, oop, it ain't gonna start now either till I hook the battery up. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Got the battery hooked up. I want y'all see how this thing cranks now. And hopefully it don't make a fool out of me. stuff but if y'all will please like subscribe comment uh probably said that about three times now in this video but uh, i'll let you go and you all have a good one